Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Wet n Wild unboxing, I guess is what I'm going to call it. Even though there's really not many more pro uh, products in this box other than brushes, it's still from Wet n Wild and I'm still taking them out of the box. So it's a Wet n Wild unboxing. Here's the little box. I got it today and it is packed with stuff. First off, I wanted to try set and wet and wild lashes. I know they sell them in stores, but I wasn't sure if they sold these. These are the Shutter Shock lashes. I've never seen these this style in my store before. Saw them, they looked really fluttery and pretty, so I wanted to try those. And then we get into the brushes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Thirteen brushes. And then I have, I got some free bubble paper. I got a free, they also stuck a free invoice in here and some free wet and wild tissue paper. So that was some, you know, little free perks that they put in the box. Anyway, let's get on to the brushes. Um, I got on their website and ordered every brush. Um, I already have one, two, three, four, five. Is it just five? I think just five is all I have already. I did find these at my local Walgreens. As you can tell, they're much love. I use this one for bronzer. This one I have used it. I actually used it today for my highlight. I've used these, of course, for eyeshadow and eyeliner. And because of these five brushes is why I got on here and ordered the rest of them. Yes. Absolutely love these brushes. Love them. Um, I'll get my invoice sheet out of here so I can maybe tell you what each of them cost individually. Um, for all of these and the lashes, shipping and everything, I paid $32.36. If that tells you anything. Um, I believe... Yes. I did get a duplicate of a couple of them, I think. Yes, I did get duplicates of a couple of them just because I, those are the type of brushes that I want to have extras on hand. We will start off with the large stipple brush. Um, I'm going to open all of these and show you. This is the large stipple it is absolutely where it's been packaged it looks a little bit more fan like but it's really not it is circular and it is the softest brush i absolutely love these brushes the only thing i would do different with these brushes is put the name of the brush on the brush they do not have like large stipple brush on that's the only difference that i would make other than that, I mean, they all have like this little groove. I don't know if you'll be able to, there you go. They all have this little groove where you hold it. I know it's simple, but that's a perk <laughs> that I like. I just think that it's cool that they took time out to think about that. But so soft. So soft. Next one is the blush brush. I'm going to throw my packages down there. Again, it's like a flat pinch down at the, at the top of the ferrule there to give it that pinched appearance. <sighs> so soft. I have washed the ones that I already own twice now. I get no shedding. Um, they aren't loose. They're, they go back to form just perfectly. They're still soft. I mean, oh God. So soft. The large stipple. Sorry. 
was, I'm going to have to go across, $2.99. This is the blush brush, $2.99. This, I think I got two of these. Yes, this is the contour brush. $0.99, cents. 99 cents for this. And I got two of them. It's just got that angle. It's thinner and pinched. And it's got that really nice angle to get really precise. It's not as precise as, like, let's say, if I can find that one. Like, here is my e.l.f. contour brush and then my Lorac contour brush. You know how these are the really straight, very dense and stiff brushes. This one is a little bit more wide and very soft so you can get like that diffused contour. You can also use this as a blush brush, a highlight brush. So many uses for this brush. Love it, love it, love it. 99 cents, 99 cents. Yes, I believe one in the packaging. Um, next one is the powder brush. This was $2.99 as well. This is just like that fluffy round powder brush. Again, no shedding. No, it doesn't look on any of these. It doesn't look like the hairs have been cut notched or jaggedy or anything like that. <sighs> I cannot tell you how soft these are. Love these. Another duplicate I got is the small stipple brush, which was 99 cents, and I got two of them. There's two. This one, again, it's got the two different hair sizes to diffuse. I love stipple brushes for cream, con cream contouring, cream blush, any kind of cream product, or just going through and I use highlighter. I use this for a highlighter sometimes because where it's the stipple and it's got the longer fiber, I cannot talk today. Where it's got the longer fibers, it doesn't pick up as much product. So it lays down just a little bit of product so you don't get like too much love it again love it um let me see if i got okay that was all the duplicates i got i had to go through and look foundation brush now i do own this one already so i'm not gonna open this so i can leave it in the package but that is this one i have used it like i said today i used mine for highlighter and I think it did a pretty decent job for highlighter. You can use it this way really lightly or this way. I, you know, uh, patting out concealer. I've never tried a brush like this for patting out concealer. I don't know why, I just haven't. And I want to because, especially with this brush, because it is so soft, I think it would be excellent at doing that. So, I just, like I said, these are not cut wonky or anything like that. I just, I cannot express to you how much I love these. Um, here is the large concealer brush. This was, oh, and that foundation brush was $2.99. Most of these are $2.99. Um, this is the large concealer brush and it was 99 cents again it's got the little notched handle this is like a smaller version of the foundation brush that's really and it would be great at concealer um, you could do like your brow bone highlight with this I mean just anything you could pack on eyeshadow with it it's just, I just love having a variety of brushes. That way if I come across a scenario where I need a certain brush, I have it. And when you're paying 99 cents for a brush, why not? Here is the small concealer brush. 
and it was 99 cents as well. Again, it's just a baby version. You have like mommy, daddy, and baby. Daddy, mommy, baby. Again, great for packing on eyeshadow, maybe into the inner corner here or into the tear duct area. Um, highlight on your brow bone. It's concealer cleaning up your brows. Concealer cleaning up your wing. Um, concealer around the sides of your nose. Concealer cleaning up your lip line. So many uses. And again, a dollar. Why not? Um, large eyeshadow brush. This was 99 cents. Most of, it's like the bigger ones are $2.99 and the smaller ones are 99 cents. Yes, I didn't have anything that was $1.99 or anything. This is the large eyeshadow brush. Did I already have one of these? Yes. I already had one, but I went ahead and bought another one because it's just that good. Um, this, it's pinched at the ferrule to where you could use it to blend out inside your crease here with it. You could do brow bone highlight again. You could pack on, you know, matte shadow with it. Very soft. Blends eyeshadow like a dream. Again, you have the notch in there. I just love it. Um, small eyeshadow brush, 99 cents. And I do, no, that was a small concealer brush. I do not already have one of these. Um, this, it's got that perfect, like, C shape to it up on top to where you can pack on color with it really nicely. Again, this could be used as a concealer brush, crease brush under eye smudge brush, um, concealer around the lip, cleaning up. I mean, there's just, there is no set thing that each brush is used for. If you want to use this for eyeshadow, go on, girl. Because like everybody says, there's no rules in makeup. Just dop that stuff in there and go like that, and there you go. Instant one color eye look. <laughs> All I'm saying is like this just because it's a small eyeshadow brush doesn't mean it can't be used for concealer. Just remember that. Play with your brushes because you might find that a certain brush does like this is the concealer brush. This might do eyeshadow better for you than the eyeshadow brush does because it's smaller. It's easier for you to control. You know, there's just no rules of makeup. You do you. Boo. And then this is the crease brush. I do not have this one in either. This was 99 cents. Oh, that looks so stinking fluffy. I love a blending brush. That's probably the brush that I use most. And you can never have too many blending brushes. Like, all of these are my blending brushes. Just blending brushes. Because you put color into the crease with this one and then you need to go back out and blend it out with a clean one you know blend out the edges so you can never have too many blending brushes and again so freaking soft not cut jaggedy or anything like that I love these brushes and I love that they're white and pink I mean how cute is that how freaking cute is that and I will tell you that whenever I wash this one, because I use it and I cannot remember what this one is, but this is like the flat top kabuki brush or something. You can use this for foundation. I have. It just shears it out too much. I like a more full coverage foundation and this just shears it out a little bit too much because it is, even though it's dense, it's not as dense as some foundation brushes. Like this one is, this is my e.l.f. buffing brush. It's not as dense as this one. So for a sheer application of foundation, this one would be great. But I use this for bronzer. And I, like I said, I think this was the Flat Top Kabuki. And I think it was $2.99. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was $2.99. And like the eyeliner brush, $0.99. Cents, those I found at my Walgreens. But 
I have washed this two times and the only thing even though they're so pretty the white and pink if you do use a color like a bronzer or a bright colored eyeshadow it does wash out mostly but you are going to have some staining which is normal I mean you ha I have staining on all my brushes it's just not it just be nice if they had like some kind of like um, what is that scotch spray or something on it that keeps them from staining because they're so pretty they're pretty when they're new anyway that is my video that is my unnecessary unnecessary brush haul from wet n wild but it was necessary it's necessary you can never have too many brushes and they're just so stinking cute and they're so soft for the price they are amazing quality for the price i have seen several people get on there kathleen lights has raved about the the wet and wild brushes i mean you just can't beat them i mean they're just as good as some of my higher end brushes i have more few brushes that i absolutely love these are just as good and they clean up just as good. They're just as good quality. None of the ferrules are loose. None of the none of the fibers come out. I just cannot say enough about these brushes. Please get online and order you some, or go out to Walgreens, get you a couple that they sell there. Um, I have seen like one or two at my Walmart, but not a big selection because my Walgreens didn't have a big selection. That's why I went up went ended up and went online and bit the bullet and bought them because they were just too good not to for the price especially so enough rambling that is it that is my brush haul um like this video if you liked it and if you are new to my channel welcome and please subscribe before you leave all of my social media is linked below i am really bad about social media I'm just not with it. I don't Snapchat a whole lot. I do have Periscope downloaded on my phone. I just, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I can never think to get on there and Snapchat or Periscope. I just, like, I just get ready and go. And I don't think about, hey, you could, you know, do this with other people. I don't think about it. But Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, Snapchat, and my Periscope, I haven't put it in my links yet, but it's the same as everywhere else, Binky Beauty. So follow me there, and I'm going to try to get better with snapping and Periscoping and tweeting and Facebooking and Instagramming. And oh God, that's a lot of stuff to do. That's a lot of stuff to do. Anyway, yeah, enough rambling. Follow me down there. Like if you liked it. Subscribe on your way out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.